Hello viewers. This video, I want to show you how to replace the air filter element for your engine on the 2001 through 2007 Dodge Grand Caravan, Caravan, uh, Town and Country, and some of those early uh, Plymouth Voyager models. Your air cleaner is located under here. This is a very, very easy um, procedure, perfect for the beginner. In fact, it's so easy, I originally wasn't going to do a video, but I thought maybe there's somebody out there who would appreciate it, so here you go. Uh, first thing you're going to do is there's this breather hose that goes over to your uh, valve cover over there. Just unhook that, fold it out of your way. Then you have a clamp here and a clamp there, or there I should say, and there. You want to undo them and you use a socket for that, either 8 millimeters or 5 sixteenths, basically the same size, and you're going to loosen them up, but you're not going to take them off. You just want to get them uh, pretty loose. Now you may notice something is missing here. My windshield wiper assembly, that's because I was in the process of replacing the spark plugs, which is a video that I also just made, so uh, you can ignore that, but in, as a matter of convenience, this makes it easier for me to show you everything you need to do. Now, before we remove this connector pipe, there is a sensor in it, and it has a lock. That little red lever, you got to pop that out first, and then you squeeze behind it, and that'll allow you to unplug the sensor. Then after that, it's a matter of flexing this pipe up and out of the way, and you can set it aside. Then there are two clips. There's one here that you have to undo, and one back here you have to undo. And this cover is hinged along this side here. So you lift up and out, and usually the air cleaner stays behind. In this case, it came with the top, and that is the air cleaner. Look down in here if you have any leaves or other debris, or if uh, chipmunks build a nest in there, clean that all out. Now, if you look at the one I'm removing, this Fram filter, uh, yellow is its natural color, really does not look very dirty. You're supposed to replace these, I think it's like every five or 6,000 miles. This filter has 13,000 miles on it. And it looks pretty close to new, but it looks a little bit dingy, just a little bit. So it's looks can be deceiving because all the fine particles of dust that it's filtered out are clogging all the little holes in the filter. And so if it looks visibly dirty, that usually means it's too far gone. So don't trust the appearances of your air filter. So go by mileage, and if you're in a very dusty region, then you want to replace it even more often. Now you're going to drop your filter into place. Make sure it's seated properly and evenly all the way around. Now once your new air cleaner is in place, you have to put the lid back on. So you line up those three pins with the hinge area there. Make sure nothing is caught under there. And what you're going to find is the old air filter was kind of compressed and squashed down in there for however long it's been in there. The new one's brand new, and it's going to fight you a little bit. So you're going to have to wiggle the lid around a little bit until it seats as good as possible, and then you will snap your locks. I can't do it with one hand, I don't think. Ah, got one and lock that into place. Now I can't really show you with one hand, but you will squeeze your crossover pipe first. I always go first onto the air intake and then secondly onto the housing. I just find that easier. All right, you're gonna notice there's a little notch on your crossover pipe that will line up with that pin right there. After that, you're gonna tighten down your two clamps. Tighten them down snug, don't kill them, don't strip them out. Then you're gonna take your breather hose from your valve cover, hook that back up. 
then you are going to take your connector for this is actually the air intake temperature sensor that's what that is and you're going to plug it back on till it clicks come on camera focus maybe this will help till it clicks and then you're going to snap the lock back down sorry for the out of focus i have no control over that with the camera get that lock back into place and you are all done uh, give yourself a big pat on the back you just changed the air filter on your dodge grand caravan or town and country and that is all there is to it for changing the engine air filter on your 2001 through 2007 Dodge Grand, 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 Dodge Grand Caravan, Town and Country, and those earlier uh, uh, Voyager, Plymouth Voyager models. Uh, this is a very simple procedure, but don't underestimate, it's a very important procedure for you to do regularly. It affects your engine performance and it affects your gas mileage. So keep a note of it. I like to use I, uh, my brother P-Touch to make up labels and I just put them right on that air cleaner lid. So I know when everything was done, I put down what I did, the date, and the miles that are on the odometer. So if you like this video, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and above all, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.